I've spent my life flying airplanes. I, when I was a little kid, five years old, I put together model airplanes and everything was airplane, airplane, airplane. In fact, I learned to fly before I could drive a car. I want to be able to know that my children and grandchildren will be able to fly in a world where flight shaming isn't a thing. And so we've made an investment in Sierra Avia in the form of this beautiful airplane. And really the focus of that investment is to uh, advance our path to net zero carbon emissions. Beginning with a six-seat airplane, Zero Avia has demonstrated a linear progress towards the airplane that I'm standing in front of. They've flown a 19-seat airplane successfully, and now we're looking at a 76-seat airplane. What makes this particularly exciting to me is this represents a proper airliner. This is an airplane that can fundamentally change the economics of sustainable flight. If we can decarbonize the airplane that I'm standing in front of, we can make a big impact on climate effects of aviation. 91 years old this year. We started with one single airplane in 1932 in the state of Alaska. We were the first airline in the world to sell a ticket on the internet. It was the first airline to use GPS to guide aircraft. And so that same spirit stays with us. And so when we find ourselves at the present age, where in the mandate to, to decarbonize is fully present in our industry, we want to lead in that. We want to say, what can we do to, to pave that road ahead? And we believe this partnership with Zero Avia is a very important part of that step. And I've never seen any trend take root more swiftly and more decisively than the mandate to decarbonize. Alaska Airlines is an extraordinarily value-driven organization. And when we're looking for investment partners, we don't just want to write a check to a company simply because we believe in their technology. We wanted to work with a company that was pragmatic, that was grounded in reality, but also shared those beliefs. And with Zero Avia, we, we felt that immediately. For me, as a, my personal journey to leaving the cockpit was to have more impact. Um, my love of flying, again, has never diminished. It's probably increasing over time, but I want to find ways in which I can make aviation more viable, more, more um, accessible to people, and more durable. If we get this right, when we get this right, we'll be able to put sustainable aviation on the map in a very believable way. I'm seeing the future in this airplane that I'm standing in front of.